not stand by. And there we go, that's 10. The Bandal Tree. Let's go, we did it. Awesome. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Bandle Tree. We have a fun, new, unique deck here for Legends of Runeterra. Uh, Beyond the Bandlewood expansion has come out and it's brought a really cool, unique um, landmark that we are going to be building around and trying to win the games with. Five mana landmark, the Bandle Tree. Round start, create a follower from a new region in hand. So it checks all of the regions that you've played followers from, and it'll give you a follower from a, a new region in hand at the round start. And then after that, it also checks um, when the game, if you've summoned units from 10 regions, that's that checks on round start. So that's the goal of our, our deck. We're gonna try to summon units from 10 regions. So there's 10 regions in the game. We need to summon a unit from each of them. So if we look at our deck, you can see that we have a wide variety <laughs> of regions. We actually have every single region covered, even though some of them are just a little bit, like we only have like one Fizz for Bilgewater, for example. Lulu is Ionia. But you know, we got every single region covered. So we'll be able to play from a variety of regions. Obviously we're not gonna draw all 10 regions, but we can hopefully draw like five or six of them and then have the um, Bandle Tree create the ones from the other regions that we haven't drawn and help us finish it out. So that's all our deck's gonna do. So we're not really trying, like our, we have different cards that like, you know, help us, you know, attack and things like that. But we're not really gonna be trying to deal 20 damage or win by attacking. We're really just gonna be trying to win with the Bandle Tree. So since we need to win with the Bandle Tree, I'm using Targon for the second region so we can play Divergent Paths so we can draw the Bandle Tree. So we have two of those in here. That also gives us just a little bit of interaction with Hush and a little, and a combat trick that can give us some card draw because we're gonna want that card draw with Pale Cascade. Um, the other thing that I'm going to try is I'm going to try Treasure Trash at the top end. Treasure Trash um, will be able to, <laughs> you know, fill your hand with random cards. They cost zero. You can only play three of them, but that should hopefully give us like three different regions of units maybe, right? Like, so that could really help um, us uh, just turbo up the banal tree using this Treasure Trash. So that could be kind of cool. And then we have different ways to create um, other... You know, or manifest other multi-region followers in the deck and uh, everything like that. But that's that's all we're going to be doing. All right, so we got six different champions in here because they're all from different regions. We got Tristana and we got the Bandle Tree. So let's just see what happens. This could go really well, could go, could go not so well. Who knows? Okay. I think this is just a pretty decent hand. I think we're going to just keep it. There's no Bandle Tree. And maybe... Well, maybe we don't keep two twos. Hey, there's a Bandle Tree. It had like a little animation there too. We'll have... The Bomber Twins from Sharima. Oh, got another Bandle Tree. <laughs> Ripper's Bay. Oh man, that is not any good. Okay, right now we're, we're gonna have Demacia, we already had Sharima. So we want to take one of these two. I'm going to be taking this telescope. Because it can make another follower for us. Yep. The thing about creating all these cards is that our hand's kind of filled, and so our treasure trash uh, is going to struggle a little bit. Alright, we need this commando to strike. Um, I like this Thrashing Snapper. That's, that's Noxus. 
That's good. I need this thing to strike so we can make the Ionia one. Yes! Okay! So it's gonna be Ionia and... Oh man. <laughs> They're gonna have a lot of darkness, but that's okay. So we're at three right now. I think I just... Let's just play this Bandle Tree. Let's just get that in play. We got eight cards, so we can create another one. Hopefully not Ionia or... Good, Shadow Isles and one mana. That is awesome. So yeah, they can kill all my stuff. That's fine with me, as long as the, as long as they don't kill my Nexus. What we have to worry about is whenever Vagar levels up, then they can start targeting my Nexus. All right, so that's four. Five. Oh, I could have played Tristana first, I guess, but I just thought I'd play Tristana to kill it, but I stayed on the mana. Um, we don't actually have to play Tristana. Let's play this thing. Get another region. All right, so we're at seven. Jawfish. The jawfish are just too expensive. You're a different region, but you're too expensive. So I guess I'm starting with this thing. Because Tristana just doesn't... Yeah, for us, it just doesn't really matter at this point of the game. We need just our other three regions. So what do we need? We need Bilgewater, Freljord, PNZ. I always miss PNZ because I, I look at, like, I see, like, the yellow and think that we have Piltover and Zombie. Yeah, we already have that. So Freljord, Piltover, and Zombie. Freljord! I hope they can't do 20 damage to me first. Alright, failure makes it 8. Total Tech Support with the Twitch Prime sub. What's up, Total Tech Support? Thank you so much for that, uh, for that support. I really appreciate that. That's our first sub of the day. Let's change the sub goal. There we go. Thank you so much. I guess I'm just gonna pass. I don't know, maybe I should... I kinda need to empty the hand though. I guess... Eight, nine, hmm. I, w I really wish I would've just played the Ripper's Bay first and then the Poro over the Ripper's Bay. That's what I wish I would've done. Okay, so we can play Jawfish this round. Oh no! Yeah, so that's gonna do Nexus damage. Yeah, I guess they're going to kill me. They're going to do 20 Nexus damage with this co combination. Okay, they are not doing it correctly. But they can still cast another one, though. What seems to be the problem? Alright, my hope is that this will make a Last Breath follower from Bilgewater. Are there any Last Breath, last breath followers from Bilgewater? Is there any that we can make? Oh, Shadow Isle, so close. Can this make anything from... No, it's a landmark. I can't make a Bilgewater thing. It makes a, made a Bilgewater landmark. Alright, there's no reason why this should work, but... Okay. Might as well just check, though, right? <laughs> Might as well check. Yep. And so they're gonna do that again the next round. Unfortunately, it's just 20... You know, this deck is just... 20 Nexus damage straight to the face. Can't do anything about that. If only this was a cheaper card, right? If they would have made, like, a Fleet Admiral Shelly previously, we would have been fine. You dropped something. I 
But yeah, I had Jaw, but it it was too expensive. Turn it against them. All right, zero and one. We were so close, but just that darkness deck, just going up Nexus, you know, going and casting it at the Nexus. Right. So yeah, the victory's around start. It doesn't happen right away. So I could, if I would have, you may be thinking, well, why don't you just play the jaw, you know, the jaw fish, and then that's ten, boom, you win. But it, you have to wait till round start before you actually win. What are we playing against, Swain, Bandle Swain? Yeah, we had all regions round nine with that. And so that's kind of what we're trying to do, right? It's like win like round eight, nine, ten, something like that, but then but you know, just have all these things to block, right? And you just you just block a whole bunch and just not have your Nexus die. Unfortunately for us, I can't stop <laughs> just darkness hitting the Nexus. I can't stop that. Probably gonna need Noxus more than Demacia. Uh, they're about the same. I'll just I'd rather just have a 4-2 quick attack than a 1-1 double attack also. Please don't kill my 2-2 mayor. But yeah, if you have any suggestions on removal spell over something else. Because we need to play like all these different multi-region allies too, so it's hard to fit in all the multi-region allies and then also removal. Of course, that card already did its job, it got us Ionia. Gets rid of Leviathan. Good call. At least that was nice of them to do that after, like, they passed the round first. That was nice of them to do that after I played something. Oh, this is going to be like a Scorched Earth deck, isn't it? Oh, uh, they're going to be rude and have Scorched Earth. That would be pretty rude. My plan here is to play another Mayor and then another... a Mayor and then another Aloof Travelers. Try to take down another Leviathan. They have mayor? I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Okay, we're gonna need Bilgewater. Oh wait, I need Targon also, don't I? Yeah, I'm gonna need I don't have Targon, but it's it's a lot easier for me to find I have three of the Targon cards in in the deck. I don't have any Bilgewater cards, but Man, that card's expensive. Seven mana. I'm just gonna take the cheap card. All right, maybe we just play the cheap cards. Right of Negation? That can protect my Bandle Tree from a Scorched Earth. All right, so I think that we've kind of found that the Treasure Trash doesn't work in, in my deck because I just have too many cards in hand all the time. So I think the two Treasure Trash could, could, be, could turn into something else. I do need Demacia. Mini morph. No Leviathan. Hit 
Yeah, impact counts for swing damage. Where are we at? We all right. We did Trima. No Noxus. No Demacia. Tarry not unto the pay. I got big plans for this place. Right, eight. Time to collect. Hark the cacophony. All part of the job. Play defense more than offense. You have a lot of ways to block that right now. Ooh, Black Market Merchant. That's a cheap bilge water. I like it. So what's my last Freljord? Okay, there's the one mana Freljord one. We can potentially get this. All right, so uh, block. 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 I just throw away everything. Don't don't care about him. We could get the one mana Freljord. That's that's what we're going to be looking for with this loping telescope. So what two cards could this deck really want without treasure with no treasure trap? So may, maybe two removal spells. Like is Hush the best? There's like the six mana in Targon. There's the six mana. In, there's the Sunburst, right? Silence plus deal six. I have to kill a Scion. Oh, that's going to level up Swain. That's one way to level up Swain right there. No, oh, I need the Freljord one. We'll just take this Moon Silver. All right, they conceded. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have all all ten. You know, we're gonna be able to play the Bilgewater. Have all ten. All right, so we're gonna take out those treasure trash that we we noticed that our, our hand was just too full all the time. We couldn't really uh, use that card, so we're going to play two copies of Sunburst instead. So like we can kill a Vagar, so they can't darkness our Nexus, or maybe kill a Scion that comes down that's super scary. You know, something like that. Like if we need if we absolutely need to kill something. Hopefully, the Sunburst can help us do that. Oh, what's up, Nico type? Yeah, we got we got a bunch of cool decks today. All right, so Senna Karma. So not doing Nexus damage. I like that. So no Vagar for Nexus damage. This is a good hand, but there's no Bandal Tree. Well, I'm still considering keeping it all. Yeah, I think we just keep it all. We got three regions taken care of: Piltovern's on, um, Shadow Isles, and Shurima. And then we have Bandle City to find a different region of one of those. Oh, kind of punished. So I waited so they couldn't just go hard on their round, like go hard with Thermogenic Beam. Yeah, because like, that's what they wanted to do, so I waited so I could fill Cascade. I hope they don't cast the card, pack your bags. Yeah, Bandle Tree. I'm casting pack your bags and then like attacking for lethal is something I could see happening. All 
All right, we need both Noxus and Demacia. I'll take Noxus. There's more Demacia cards than Noxus cards. Ooh. Man, if I could have two of them in play, that would be awesome. Theoretically, I could play this other, the second Mayor, and then Ziggs, and then Telescope. Let's try it. They're not like a Freljord deck that for like an avalanche. We are gonna need bilge water, but let's take the Let's take that thing. No gosh. Oh man, that was brutal. I should have played Ziggs. I forgot people actually play that Withering Mist card now. Oh man, that was brutal. For the dead, I bring rest. Alright, we'll just get rid of Senna. Second time's worth. Yeah, I, I didn't think of that card. I regret playing that other mayor, for sure. I did, did not think of that card. Alright, an Ionia card. Yep, that was not good. I've already played Piltovern's on. Luck, a thing. L, that's not ours. Was it with another Withering Mist? That's probably not a good sign for me that that's their best, or their, that's their most expensive card in hand. Probably not a good sign. New venue, new money. <laughs> and while, like, I could have played like the Bandal Tree this round. The kind of the, the one small problem playing the Bandle Tree is that then it could create like these other regions that I already have in hand. And we're kind of wasting the time there. And so I want to kind of try to play like some of these other regions and get them out so that it's a higher chance that Bandle Tree creates the region that we actually need. Did somebody say explosives? I think I'm playing Bandle Tree here though. So I hope it makes Bilgewater or Freljord and not Ionia or Demacia. Because I assume it doesn't check your hand as well, right? I would assume it would just check like these six regions here. So I'd assume it doesn't check your hand. Oh, come on, stop making Jawfish. The most expensive bilge water unit. Maybe it checks your hand. Yeah, see, I'm really worried about pack your bags. can't block anyway. I guess I could have played Lulu for my Ionia, but I'm kind of assuming they're going to go pack your bags. Yeah, that's what I'm... That's what I'm afraid of. So if I play the Cavalier, they pack your bags. I at least play the Tenor and get to block a couple of things. Oh, yeah. So let's do this. So that's eight. Never mind. Yeah, they're waiting till next round for double pack your bags. Right, with Karma. They get two of them. 
That's 10 Nexus damage. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Okay, it does not check your hand. Because we need a Freljord card. And we did not get it. Um, I think, I mean, I think they've already played three Gohards. I think the, I think the next one's Pack Your Bags. Yeah, they've already played three Gohards. They played one round one also. Yeah, so they already have Pack Your Bags. Oh, but then the second one turns back into Gohard. Okay, so it's only one Pack Your Bags. Okay, well that's not as bad. But they could definitely do that again. Depending if they have more Gohards, because then... Yeah, they, they would only need two more Gohards to do that again. One for you, and one for you! Yeah, I'm certainly considering taking the pass. So he smote, and he broke those puny fools. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what I was worried about. Those these are just going to keep on making Freljord cards. Oh, we drew a Bilgewater or a Freljord. Sorry, sorry. We're gonna... All right, we drew a Freljord. Poro saves the day. I guess, how would the second Packer Bags turn into a Gohard? Because they wouldn't have anything to target. No! Recall all, all other units and landmarks! I can just replay the landmark though, right? Yeah, it's not a big deal. And there we go, that's 10. The Bandal Tree. Let's go, we did it. Awesome. Uh oh, this is like trying to kill us. So let's see if we can block enough to stay alive. What do you think about Hush in this matchup? It could be great against Green Glade Duo. Nami, Poppy, Reaver's Row. That's fun to say. Nami, Poppy, Reaver's Row. Azir's got pretty good command. At least it's not Decimate anymore. I guess we already have Sharima with Ziggs, but the other one was like Targon. I guess I should have taken the Targon though, because that would have drawn it. It would have been a 2 2 draw card. Instead of just create a random landmark that probably doesn't do anything. I must become the leader they need. You must. Hmm. So Ziggs keeps Aurelia from attacking. Follow my lead. Or not. Do they have a shape stone? My smoke. Man, that's messed up. Bomber Twins. This is the card to take for, like, the region-wise, but it's 
not as good as Bomber Twins, just blocking and everything. You like the one one doesn't block. I should make a speech. Yes. Where's my speech? The enemy approaches the painted shore. Play the song of the fallen, so they might witness our fight. Yeah, it makes preservarium. Will endure. We Ionians always remember those who came before us. Our Tristana's always leveled up. My plan is to hush the Aurelia when it attacks. Well, they probably can just save it, though. Alright, cool. If, like, if I pass, do they play a spell and then let me hush afterwards? And that's not likely. Yeah. That was a likely thing. But yes, they would have like gone here. PNZ. Their deck's pretty good. Looks pretty good at least. Really? Oh, that's just like the second one. That's not the one that creates. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Ooh, that's big. Getting rid of that blossoming blade. Definitely had to do that. We're at six. No. Alright. GG's. That X was going to be too fast and furious for us, especially when they have both champions. Especially Aurelia. Like, Aurelia is going to be the card that... Yeah, Aurelia is just going to kill us. Okay, we got Teemo Keetlin. So we just got to try to stay alive. We don't really care if our things died from traps. But it's hopefully we don't die from traps. I'll just send both these back. I'm gonna keep one, but we really want to find the bandle tree. Which I feel this deck should win against everything except aggro, correct? I wouldn't necessarily say should. I think it has a good chance of winning against everything except for aggro, but. Aggro, you have not very good of a chance, but still a chance. But I wouldn't say should is the correct word. But it's a it's a difficult uh, deck to interact with, as we saw there with like the the Karma deck. Like, the, like you have to be able to interact with the Bandle Tree, and not many people, like not everybody's just like playing. 
cards that interact with um, with landmarks. So that didn't do anything. I don't know why I thought. I guess because I just played against all the shapes down. Sorry, I think it was a four three. That did nothing. That card looked good though. Plus three, plus two. That looked good. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. Uh, we're going to need. We already wait. Do we already play Freljord? No, no, no. That was last game. Okay, so we're gonna need Freljord and Demacia. I like the Poro Sled, and maybe I should have just more Poro Sleds in the stack. Thinking the Poro Sled does summon the attacking random one cost Poro, and those could just be Poros from different regions. So that can't help out. Noxus. From all the regions we are. Vandal Scout Troop Leader, at your service. Well, you're certainly the fuzziest partner I've worked with. Red that baby up and let's see what it can really do. Don't worry. I forgot we had Fizz in here. yourself in another sharpened resolve wow they had a second one yeah sharpened resolve looks good with the Caitlyn yeah favored against would, would make more sense than saying should win played three regions so far? Man, it sure felt like a lot more than that, hasn't it? That's a fourth. That's a fifth. Alright, six, seven... Piltover and Zon, did I need that? Scouts are never afraid. I did need Piltover and Zon, alright. Alright, so they're gonna just keep killing all my stuff. But I don't really mind that too much, as long as we don't die. That's the important thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those will be seven, eight. I, do, I need Demacia. Oh, wait, I'm about to play Demacia. I don't think any of these really help. Give this thing five health so it can block Caitlyn. I guess this Caitlyn's probably just gonna level up, isn't it? Oh no, it's zero out of five? We haven't even drawn a trap yet? I had to say something, but. Okay, so what do we need? We need bilge water, like normal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So bilge water and something else. Ionia. Bilge water and Ionia. My 
moustache with fog. Um, no, I haven't played Conchologist yet, but we are playing Conchologist next. Uh, next deck, next with uh, the darkness control, we are going to be playing it in there. Alright, we're going to have like lots and lots and lots and lots of puff gaps, but we only need two more regions. Ooh. Obviously I really wanted that because I wanted that to be able to attack and put in one of the regions. Let's go, Tristana. I don't want to play either of the two cards that I had in my hand at the beginning of the round. I don't want to draw any cards. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Let's get him, squad. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. I have a lot of puff caps, so I just I can't really play these. I, can't, I don't want to draw a card. All right, Ionia, Life Steal Awakener. Good Sunburst. I forgot about that thing killing me. Man, we were so close again. That's twice that we lost that we just needed one more round. You know, that we were going to win at like the next round start. That was two of the three games. Yeah, this, <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. We just said this deck looks fun like it's just trying to do a quest. And that's exactly what we were trying to do. You're just trying to do a quest of just play stuff. It's just your, your opponents are really mean sometimes and just kill you. Whenever all you're trying to do is just play stuff. Like you don't even have to attack or anything like that. I could definitely see a couple more removal spells for for champions, right? Because like that's those champions. Yeah, there's just not. I don't really know with these regions what to. You know, we could play a different region besides Targon if we don't want to play Divergent Paths. But it felt like we kind of had to have D Divergent Paths to make sure that we had the Bandle Tree. But if we think we can always draw the Bandle Tree without it, and with just just play like other card draw like Hidden Pathways, we could play a different region that has better removal, and we could play like Hidden Pathways. And then another region. So like that that could be the way to go, maybe. So you know, like that you know, figuring out what to do there. Like maybe just maybe just take out pill cascades and play more hush. Like more hush, more sunburst. And just, you know, because you don't really need the, the pill cascade stuff. Um so but besides that, it felt it felt like a pretty consistent win condition though, right? Like right, like a, probably like around round nine. We're going to be winning the game most every time, and so you just kind of have to stay alive and just play a whole bunch of stuff and eat up removal spells and things like that. So figuring out the correct interaction to go alongside that is what you kind of need. But I liked just a lot of the stuff that we were doing, and I think this this kind of felt like a, a pretty good way to play just a you know a multi-region ally deck. The Bandle Tree, is a, that's a, it's a strong, strong finishing card. And, you know, this is just still, like, very first try at it. So like I was saying, like if, if you can figure out like how to do that. Oh man, what about gifts from beyond? Gifts from beyond could put in like, I mean, it, this is a playability, but you know, it just puts in one of these for you. That's kind of nice. You get life steal and deal damage. I don't know. So keep playing around with it. Keep figuring out like the the other parts of the package and whatever what whatever happens with the meta game, like whatever really good interaction spells there are, we can play that region um, with this deck. So we can once we figure it out. 
All right, but that's going to be it here, though, for the Bandle Tree. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments and leave those suggestions. What do you think about Targon as a region for Divergent Paths? Do you have a, a better idea for a secondary region? And... And if we are playing Divergent Paths, what should we be doing? Should we be playing three Hush, three Sunburst? Or do you have other options? I guess like Ground Slam is an option. I didn't really think about Ground Slam. Maybe you go with that. That's kind of like a way to slow opponents down with a stun. And, and if we summon our Landmark, like our Bandle Tree, then it does three. So maybe we do those cards, right? Because we probably don't need Pale Cascade. We don't need to keep anything alive. I was kind of playing it for a card draw, but it wasn't very good we could play like hush and some grounds you know third hush and a couple ground slams maybe that's the thing to do so yeah let me know over on youtube what do you think about that idea you know for just giving us some more interaction all right but that's gonna be here though for the bandle tree so as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video